What's going on guys? JD at JD's Custom Buggies. Alright, we have a little bit of progress. Um, was here to midnight last night. Uh, got it all wired up. One thing left to do that I can think of is just to uh, install the seat belts. Unfortunately, I didn't, we were thinking about using the stock tabs, but that isn't really going to work. So, um, because of the razor seat, it's just that the seat belts fall too low. So, we're going to have to come up with something to, um, to install the seat belts. Um, kind of give you a sh show of the progress, but we're down into the final stretch. It is Thursday. We leave for the track tomorrow. I still have two engines to rebuild, uh, mine and my niece's. So saving us for last just because I want to make sure everybody else got done. So uh, I'll give you a quick turnaround, show you the progress so far. Pretty clean wiring job, very easy. Wish I could have done a video on the wiring. Had I had time, I would have, but I just it just wasn't in the cards. So um, let's let's take a look. So here's our seat belts. We got some pro armor harnesses there to install. Um, Got our box, um, very simple. I'm not gonna open it up right now for you. We'll do that on the next, another video, but basically a uh, little cover comes up, and boom. Light goes on, see the eyes on. Okay, and that shows you that the ignition's on. Basically, uh, you just hit the button and motor turns over. So, um, real simple. The only thing that's really in the box, besides the wiring for the for the startup panel there is we have our rectifier on the side of the box and then the, the actual battery is in here um, so from there our CDI there's our banjing CDI coil combo and when pulling the motor out um, you just basically got to cut these zip ties and undo this harness right here and that's about it um, and you got one ground strap right here on the head so it makes it a lot easier to work on on the track um, there's really not much else to tell like I said I just have to figure out where to put the seat belts the other thing after thought you know the CDI that this banjing has got to be mounted somewhere where there's enough flex in this uh, uh, spark plug wire that you know we don't have don't worry about it getting yanked out um, didn't think about it uh, but then the afterthought was, you know, when you're when you're here 11 o'clock, just trying to sew things up, um, seat belts. So, gonna figure out where to strap. I'm I'm probably gonna put a bolt on this lower, use this hole here for the for the lap belts. Uh, we just have to figure out a place for the shoulder straps. Originally it was gonna go there, but as you can see, being down here is just too low on the shoulder and. This razor seat's kind of bulky for these things to go around. Um, that's probably why there's aftermarket like cutouts to put cutouts on the seats to put the harness through the seat. So we're gonna try and do the best we can with that. Other than that, she's about done. Still have to adjust the front end on it, but that's gonna be done in just a little bit. And probably tomorrow morning we'll have a video uh, of a completed machine. We shall see. So. All right, guys, just a quick update. Uh, time for ticket, so I gotta get to work. If you haven't already, subscribe, and if you need parts, scottbuggies.com. All right, guys, have a good night.